Our next story is about a local man who has found happiness in the giving of himself and his time. Neil McCartney met with a humanitarian in our community and brings us his story. Ever since the first time I went there, Cambodia just, it, it had a special place in my heart. And I, I said to myself 12 years ago, one day I'm going to move here. I'm going to settle down here. I'm going to just do something. At just 34 years old, Amir Azimi is trained in disaster response management. Also a humanitarian, he has now devoted his life to working with the people of Cambodia. When you help one person there, you're helping a hundred. Because they don't have the mentality of, you know, give me help, I'm just going to keep it to myself. It's okay, you're helping me now. I'm going to take that and I'm going to share it with everybody around me. Based in Whitby, a mayor worked overseas with Avert, the Durham-based Ontario Volunteer Emergency Response Team featured on Durham Now before. Along with several other like-minded Canadians, they created and opened the first ever not-for-profit boutique hotel in CM Repeat Province, training and giving a helping hand to many in the local community. Our motto is not to be needed. So in the long run, if we can step back, have the locals run the whole place, have them run all these projects, you know, we have done our job. Oh, it's almost falling! <laughs> Money raised at the small hotel goes directly into several projects in the area, specifically water purification and an orphanage nearby. Recently, a program to secure new mattresses and bedding. We are just loading up this tube too. A mayor says some guests who come on their vacation end up staying for an extended period, donating their time to the community, and some plan their trips just to take part. I have a family come in in the next few weeks, and you know they researched us, they found out about what we do, and they have two young kids. So they want to get their kids involved. In the coming year, Amir and his partners will be taking ownership of the local orphanage. A brand new building is planned that also includes a school. During the daytime, we're going to be able to hire teachers, more teachers, so the kids from the villages can get free education. And the name of the hotel is significant. Greenleaf, as it's known, comes from the moringa tree. A miracle plant, says Amir. The leaves have all the nutritional benefits that you need to survive. So we're using moringa projects a lot at our hotel. And in a couple of days, Amir returns to his new home in the Cambodian countryside to continue his work, humanitarian work that makes this man happy and content. In Whitby, Neil McCartney, Durham Now.